Muted. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Mike and Jesse. How do you that neighbor, you know? What's up there? Guys, we are going to be reviewing an episode of Into the Badlands. But can you guess which one? Probably because it's down in the middle. It's Season 2, Episode 7, Black Heart, White Mountain. That's right, you guessed it right. You have eyeballs. So if you don't know what we do on this particular thing, we review the episode we just watched. Jesse, tell them how we do it. Oh, um, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, you knew it. knew it. So we take, like, four categories, and then we put them all together, and we have an overall rating, and we rate them, like, with these butterfly shurikens. But the categories are story rating, visuals, then character slash acting, and music slash sound effects so there we go i don't believe you at all <laughs> uh, you better believe it <laughs> well you better believe it mike because guess what it's your turn to go first <laughs> is it now even though you always go first i do go first yes for um for my story portion of my review i'm giving it a three this story you bastard uh, you bastard I liked uh, the Baji backstory. It's kind of cool that we got um, a little bit of how he lost his ability, his gift, and his little um, his gift. His he novice. didn't lose his gift of gab, huh? If you know what yeah. I'm saying. Uh-huh. 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 That's the only thing uh-huh. he has. Right? But it was cool how we got a little story about his novice flea. Um, so I enjoyed that. And I enjoyed the sunny nightmare um, part of this episode. I mean, it was really... this. There wasn't much we got from this. It was kind of just localized to sunny and... And uh, them trying to get him better, uh, you know. Okay. Besides the brief, the brief uh, scene with um, the widow and and yeah. Jade and Gwyn, but yeah. So I enjoyed the how how Sonny is battling. Um, he was battling his you know his thoughts in this nightmare. So it was kind of cool. So I gave it a three. Nothing too too spectacular for visuals. I'm giving it a three point five. I did enjoy the Ooh. Sunny fight scene um, in his nightmare. I liked when. Um, he was getting attacked. They were slicing him, and it was like a burn slice. Like yeah, they were yeah. burning through his, his, his clothing. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that guy, Bernie Slice. Bernie Lomax. Um, the fight scene in the in the um, cafeteria slash whatever you want to call Dining it. Dining hall. Yeah, with the uh, with the the novices, you know, changing and going after the abbots was was pretty interesting, and of course the Artemis was uh, character was 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 freaky. It was cool with her hands and her grabbing Sunny at different Did you say moments. She was and, freaky deaky. Or she's a freaky? little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out in the woods, you tramp. Uh, so that was a 3.5 for my visual part. For characters, I gave it a 3.5. Even though we only got Jade and Quinn and and the Widow for a little while, the Jade um, Quinn um, back and forth was kind of interesting, and I was into that, yeah. actually surprised that he let her go. But um, you know, he's a, he's a great like we always talk about. It, he's a great actor, so we got to put him in there. Um, I enjoyed, and I think Jesse said that he enjoyed. Um, the Baji MK dialogue back and forth. That was me. Oh, yeah. You know, when they were on their way um, to the Abbots. And, you know, the Artemis character was a, was a cool character. She's interesting. You know, I don't think we're going to see much more of her, but just to see her creeping around through the woods like that was, was pretty Or cool. will we? I mean, maybe if he has another dream sequence or something like that, or there's like this nightmare thing. Maybe or like Ryder was for Quinn. Oh, yeah. True, true. All right, so, yeah, so I give that a 3.5. Excuse me. Um, for the music music and sound effects kind of thing we do, I give it a 3. Um, the, 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 you know, the basic overall fight music, they always put, put them, the scenes together well. Um, but there was some cool slicing sounds and stuff like that, like I mentioned before with the burning of, of Sonny's... Um, anatomy yep sonny's back and, and and clothing all this kind of stuff and uh yeah th- it wasn't it wasn't overall exciting this episode to me these last couple have been good i mean the build up uh, we have a few more left let's see what happens so overall it's like a 3.25 3.5 kind of thing so i'll give it a 3.5 i'll boost it up a little bit for all for right. mine all right yeah. cool cool beans brah yeah. Uh, all right. So for me, because it's my turn, uh, story. I'm, I gave it. Okay, I gave it a four. Gave okay. it a four because 
Uh, and I had changed it from 3.5, but I gave it a 4 because I liked a lot of things that you said too, Mike. Um, there were a lot of... The way I gauge the story is if, if it's engaging, oddly enough. <laughs> uh, but if if it pushes the, the, the lore forward and it pushes everything in, in, in a good direction... So and and also also the situation. So I enjoyed, yeah. I enjoyed the fight in the in the mess hall. I enjoyed that yeah. fight. I enjoyed how they to, to get away. He says cut the novices, and the novices just immediately start attacking everybody. I thought that was fun. Mm. Uh, the dream sequence. I I know I called that. I knew you know I, we knew that was going to happen. He was going to go into some type of fever dream type situation. Um, yeah. And even though I'm kind of over that trope, they did something cool, which was they made it kind of creepy, and like they literally yeah. made it creep showish, where the little hand was this and that, and it just, that was cool, bloody and weird, yeah. and I liked it. I, I actually liked it, so that was pretty cool, you know. Um, and then at the end of that, where he's fighting all of his old enemies, that was fucking cool. That reminded me of an anime, like that's something they would do in, in like a Japanese, you know, anime. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Is that oh now that you have to fight all of the souls that you've that you've killed so that yeah. was pretty cool, uh, so so I gave it a four it was it was good I liked oh plus all the story stuff like you know we got to see Beiji we got to hear about hear about his backstory and and things like that and uh, I guess and then some of the Quinn you know the Quinn and Jade stuff like she's in a predicament isn't she she's in quite the pickle so yeah so uh, visuals I'm gonna give that a four as well because I usually give it fours past couple episodes i haven't but this episode was cool a lot of interesting it's gonna say graphics but a lot of interesting things happened with the pigs some good yeah. blood work the, yeah. the the chest that was pretty cool the cgi they used on his chest and yeah. um at the end when he's fighting those other souls and like you said the burning of the clothes and stuff like that and the the the, the burn marks the his yeah, his, his, his tattoos, tattoos were now burned like burned into his skin really, yeah really they cool. looked pretty cool and the fight yeah. scenes were fun they, there wasn't too much wire work like obvious wire work which was cool mm-hmm. so i yeah. so yeah so visuals got a four very very fun stuff very cool stuff the characters and the acting for me get a 3.5 this time around nobody really stood out in fact i kind of made fun of sunny a little bit when he found uh veil dead he was like no Oh, I know he wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it you know, wasn't like, his. Wasn't um, his greatest. Uh, honestly, action. honestly, yeah. But honestly, I would have to say that um, the Beiji and and uh, what's his face MK, MK stuff. Yeah, that was some good stuff. Like that was some good dialogue. Although I found it odd that they were putting, you know, spe- spe- specific words in there. Like then they like the word dick and asshole and like they didn't. They haven't really talked like that on yeah. the Badlands. You know, and so this was like a modern day conversation of two dudes, and it was like, I well, still I mean, in- you, you you got Nick Frost there. What do you expect? I know, I know, and he was uh, he was there, Nick Frosting it up, and he was, and it was fun. So I enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not everyone really stood out. I guess I guess those two guys stood out. Nick Frost really got to got to have a little acting, got to flex his acting muscle in this one. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, music, uh, three point five, nothing too crazy. At one point, it sounded like they were gonna play the Ghostbusters theme. And then I, when I didn't, I got upset. But that's okay. I'll get over it um, eventually, maybe in a couple of years. And uh, but yeah, it, it, it worked where it needed to work. And um, yeah, it was it was it was good. So overall, um, I, I, you know, it I'm, it's gonna bump it to a four at this point. Overall, uh, it's more like a three seven five or some shit like that. But we're gonna give it a four. Now I didn't I didn't actually want to to score this a four. But you know what? What I like about these reviews is sometimes. You know, it's kind of surprising where your thoughts and where your numbers go. So that's me. Jesse, you're up. What's up? All right. So first, I'm going to preface this by saying someone out there needs to get on doing the Ghostbuster theme during that one particular part. Uh, Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. And then straight into my story here. Uh, 4.5 for the story rating. I freaking love the story this time around. The flow of it throughout was actually really good. Uh, And it only followed a few characters that we really cared about and a little bit of Jade, but I can forgive that this time around. Uh, It it just, it was so good. So well done that I didn't even realize the 45 minutes had passed uh, by the time. And in the live reaction, most of the time I'm like stone faced over there engrossed in the show. Yeah. Uh, Visuals for uh, some really really good visuals this time around i enjoyed the flowing blood near the end um and the creep factor of artemis with like the fog and all that really good the fight in the cafeteria was great and uh 
I, I'm, I'm forgetting something very odd. Oh, Sonny's back when it was started bleeding again, like he just had got the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, very okay. cool. Uh, characters and acting, that's four. Some really good dynamic between MK and Baji. Uh, even though it was only short, we got to see the, you know, mm-hmm. show master steal the show momentarily, but then they took it right back. So, <laughs> yeah. I like that Quinn got shut down this episode a little bit on stealing the show. Yeah. The music, and this was a surprise to me even. Uh, I gave it a four. Because, one simple fact, the creepiness factor of Artemis wouldn't have been that creepy without that music. That's a good and point. the music was really well done this episode. And it, it was just pretty freaking great. So my overall is a four. I love the episode. Right. Okay, right. cool. So, uh, Mike, what you were 3.5, I had a 4, you had a 4, so what are we bumping that to, a 4? That's a group overall of a 4. Okay, group overall 4. You know, I just, I, I also, I forgot to mention the music, too. The sound effects, um, every time they moved that sword, it made uh, it sound the like jangle. it was, yeah, that it was, not, not, well, not only just the jangle, but it made it sound like it was so heavy, like, every time they moved it, I was like, ugh. Even though I hated that, I still kind of liked it, so. Yeah, it adds a little hated bit to the it. Show. Hated it. Hated it. Um, Okay, well, that's going to do it. So overall four, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this review. Um, Yeah, why don't you guys let us know what you thought of this episode. You know, give us your review. Mikey, uh, where can they get to us if they wanted to, you know, talk to us for any particular reason? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, hopefully you do want to talk to us, but of course they can reach us on all these social medias at Third Person Pod on iTunes, on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course on YouTube. You can find us there. Leave your comments below. Let us know, like Chris said, what you thought of the episodes, what your ratings are, and your reviews of these episodes are. Uh, yeah, we love hearing that kind of stuff. So you know, and of course uh, the continued support from everybody has been awesome. So definitely uh, leave us some comments below yeah and don't forget to go check out the live reaction and discussion for this particular episode to get more into the badlands goodiness from us absolutely and as always there's comic blitz right down there below me go to comicblitz.com. third person pod is your code you get three months three bucks that's a buck a month what can you say can't beat it and and i want to say a huge thank you to sherman augustus the actor who plays nathaniel moon we all received a great surprise from him. He watched one of our uh, our review of his episode. And thank you for watching it, sir. Yeah, he's sending us yep. all a, a replica of the sword. Oh, my God. That'd be so great. <laughs> that would be awesome. I wonder if he has it. That'd be awesome if he does. I'm sure he probably gets it. He probably he, got one. I'm sure he gets a problem. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, he did tell us that. And, and you could check it out on our Twitter, too. But he said, he said, Nathaniel Moon will be back. And we were like, yes, we knew. We knew a. Uh, uh, losing a hand wouldn't stop that guy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you're right. Yeah, so thank you, buddy. Good stuff. And, uh, guys, it's going to do it for us here on this review of Into the Badlands Season 2, Episode 7, Black Heart, White Mountain. Once again, thank you very much, and we will see you on the next review.